Topic number four, dentopathesis and tooth-related factors prepared by Carla Ercoli and Jack Caton. Critical questions phrased here, what is the famous, I should say, biologic width? This was revisited. Another important question is infringement of restorative margins within the suprachrestal connective tissue attachment associated with inflammation and or loss of periodontal supporting tissues. Are changes in the periodontium caused by infringement of restorative margins within suprachrestal connective tissue attachment the result of dental plaque biofilm, trauma or others? And finally, can tooth-related factors enhance plaque accumulation, retention, and contribute to gender inflammation and loss of periodontal attachment apparatus? Coming to the famous biologic width. This is a commonly used clinical term to describe the apical coronal variable dimensions of the supracrestal attached tissues. The supercrestal attached tissues are histologically composed of the junctional epithelium and the supercrestal connective tissue attachment. We decided or we proposed that the term biologic width for the future should be replaced by what it is, the supercrestal tissue attachment. Infringement of restorative margins. Is the infringement of restorative margins within the supercrestal connective tissue attachment associated with inflammation and or loss of periodontal supporting tissues? Well, available evidence from human studies support the idea that infringement within the supercrestal connective tissue attachment is associated with inflammation and loss of periodontal supporting tissue. And animal studies corroborate this finding and provide also histologic evidence showing an apical shift of the juncture epithelium and supercrestal connective tissue attachment once such an infringement has taken place. Changes in the periodontium caused by infringement of restorative margins. So if they happen, are they caused by dental plaque biofilm? Are they caused by trauma? or other factors? Well, given the available evidence, it is not possible to determine if those negative effects that are happening on the periodontium associated with restorative margins located within the suprachrestal connective tissue attachment is caused by dental plaque biofilm, is caused by trauma, is caused by toxicity of dental materials, or a combination of all these factors. We just do not have the information. Tooth-related factors. Can tooth-related factors enhance plaque accumulation and retention and act as a contributing factor to gender inflammation and loss of periodontal supporting tissues? Tooth anatomical factors are related indeed to dental plaque biofilm induced gender inflammation and loss of periodontal tissues. Relevant factors are cervical enamel protections, as you see here on the clinical slide, even on the radiographs they are detectable, enamel pearls, developmental grooves with proximity, abnormalities and fractures, and the tooth relationships in the dental arch. Coming to case definitions and diagnostic considerations, uh, I would like to repeat. Supercrestal attached tissues are composed of the juncture epithelium and the supercrestal connective tissue attachment. This was previously referred to as the biologic width. Now we call it supercrestal attachment. The apical coronal dimension of the supercrestal attached tissues is variable. There's evidence that placement of restorative margins within the supercrestal connective tissues is associated with information and loss of periodontal supporting tissues. So this should be avoided. Additional research is necessary to clarify the effects of placements of tortive margins within the junctional epithelium, however. Finally, uh, coming to classification of factors related to teeth and dentoprosthesis that can affect the periodontium. On one side, we have tooth-related factors that are localized 
that modify or predispose to plaque and eustigial diseases or to periodontitis. Both are tooth atomic factors, water factors, cervical root resorption, cemental tears, root proximity, auto passive eruption. On the other side, we have localized dentopostesis related factors, and those are restorative margins placed within the supracrestal attached tissues and clinical procedures related to the fabrication of indirect restorations. Hypersensitivity, toxicity, reactions to dental materials should also be listed here.